Hi there, this is Sanjay and I welcome you all to this English Learning YouTube channel English Every Day. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to think in English. Generally, people, they are facing the problem like when they communicate in English, they have many thoughts in your brain, but at the time of speaking English, they are unable to think in English. If I talk about the people from Taiwan, Malaysia, Singapore, Japan, Korea, or Vietnam, they are having the kind of problem like they when they speak English, they don't get thoughts in your brain. I mean, they are unable to think in English because their native language is Taiwanese or Mandarin or Cantonese. And at the time of speaking, they are unable to speak quickly, meaning they are unable to be fluent at the time of speaking. So what can be the solution? And today in this video, we are going to talk about some tips and tricks where you can improve your um, thinking in English. I mean, you can become uh, you can start thinking in English. So let's begin and uh, we start with the one thing. So the first thing you can do is you can start watching English videos because when you watch English videos that will actually sit set in your brain. I mean, whatever you listen that actually moves around your brain. For example, if you are watching an English movie or you're watching a video on YouTube. So whatever you listen that saves in your brain and at the time of speaking, you somehow click that word. It doesn't happen in one time. You need to be consistent. You need to be regularly uh, watch such kind of videos. The second you can think you can do is uh, you can go for podcast. The more you listen to the podcast or you watch the podcast, that will definitely inherit your speaking or thinking ability in English. The next thing you can do is start reading. Read every day, anything you like. You can start reading newspaper. You can start reading novels storybooks, anything, business novels, business readings, anything that comes in your hand. So once you are consistent with reading, that also will help you improve your thinking process. The next thing you can do is you can find somebody, maybe your friend or a language trainer or anybody whom you can, can communicate on a daily basis, whether it should be in a form of chat, like if you're using WhatsApp line or something, you can start chatting or you can go for calls on calls you can talk if it is possible you can talk to that person in person i mean you can meet the person face to face and that will definitely help you improve your thought processing system the next thing you can do is uh, you can start imagination i mean if you are sitting at home and you think like you have to do something for example you need to uh, make an order for pizza so you think in your brain like you have gone to the shop and you say to the person mm, could you please arrange a pizza for me? Or if you are making an order online, how would be the call? So in this way also you can mimic and you can practice for your thoughts. The next thing you can do is standing in front of mirror and do imitation. See yourself in the mirror and think of that mirror as another person. Start communicating, start asking your questions. You don't worry about you don't get any answer from the same side because the same person is there in the mirror. But that will be the part of your improvement. Laugh at yourself. Maybe sometimes you feel like, oh, what I'm doing, this would actually making me feel uh, laughing at myself. Laugh at yourself. It doesn't matter. Review your uh, progress. Record your voice and check whether you are improving by doing these activities or not. Um, if you are improving a little bit in the beginning, still count it because sometimes we don't measure the small achievements. So um, yeah, just focus on the small achievements as well because that is the part of your victory as well. So what I have suggested, um, you have to watch videos on YouTube, you can watch podcasts, you can watch Hollywood movies, you can read newspaper or any other books, you can mimic over uh, the mirror you can talk to your friends you can have a language trainer whom you can communicate you can record your voice and there are many things you can do and when you do these things regularly up to a week or for 10 days you would see a slight change in your communication you would see that you can now start thinking in english because once you start thinking in english you don't need to take any break you can speak fluently on any topic on any subject you would be fluent and you would be able to speak for so long because generally the people, they face the problem like at the time of having any presentation or uh, in a marketing activity or any kind of description, they are lack of wood and they feel like they have no, they have no 
uh, vocabulary, but this is not actually the vocabulary. Don't have enough practices. So if you do more and more practices, that will definitely improve your communication and you would start thinking in English. All right. So um, by this video, I wanted to say this thing only like how you can start thinking in English. The kind of tricks I have described in the video, you should try this. If you face any problem and if you feel something is there that you may ask me. So there is an option for comment. You can write down your comment, like the video and share this with your friends. And I would do reply you if you have any question, any comment. If you want me to be a trainer and to train you for anything, you can also find out the contact details which is given in my description. You can contact me by email ID and some ID, social media IDs are there. You can connect me over there and I would definitely help you. This would be something I would love to do. So thank you so much for watching this video and uh, have a happy time.